just can't make it back and you don't want to sum it, we don't sum it. South Sister is a mountain in Oregon with an elevation of over 10,000 feet. It was my bucket list hike. All I wanted was to reach the top, but after trekking through the night and into the morning, we never made it. And it's eaten away at me ever since. It's the only mountain I've failed to summit, my obsession. And after months of training, our schedules lined up, the conditions are right, and we're giving it another shot. I only had a couple of months to get in shape, so I hit the ground running with my training. I woke up early to go jogging, went hiking at least once a week, and changed up my diet to get in shape as quickly as possible. I knew Mason was taking this just as seriously, and I didn't want to be the one holding us back. Can I get two bean burritos with no onions and a large Dr. Pepper? This is the fuel that's gonna get you up there. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> Despite our different training methods, the one thing we agreed on was that we wouldn't fail. Whatever it took, we were reaching the summit. Step one, set up camp. Step two. <laughs> no. <laughs> you were supposed no. to grab it. Gosh. <laughs> we got my sleeping bag. Did you really? Where? To my main hiking bag. In the car? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I literally just went. They're getting to know you pretty well. Oh, it's funny as it's not even out of character. No, it's not. <laughs> All smiles the night before, but we both knew tomorrow was going to be difficult. As I've gotten older, it's gotten harder to plan trips like this. Friends move away, work takes priority, other commitments come up, and the stars just never seem to align. And with the mountain climbable only a few months out of the year, I knew if we didn't summit this time, we might not get another chance. It's currently 8.33 p.m. Uh, hopefully we can get to bed by nine and getting up at four, that'll give us seven hours of sleep. And then we're gonna make our way to the summit. It's 4.30 a.m. and we're starting the hike. The biggest advantage to starting early was we'd be able to avoid the hot sun and bugs for as many hours as possible. Plus, if we encountered any snow, it'd be a lot less likely to turn into slush when the sun starts melting it. Sure, let's do it up here. Up to this one. I'm getting toasty. I run hot. I'm getting to the point where my jacket's about to come off. That's what I'm I saying. I carry it. A couple miles later, we were both starting to feel it, but after trekking through the trees, we caught our first glimpse of the mountain at sunrise. Look at that. We're already almost there. <laughs> now that we can see it. Oh, good. Sun is finally coming up and we're getting our first views of all the surrounding mountains. It only gets harder from here. For the next couple of hours we forged on. The hardest part of a climb like this isn't the mileage, it's the terrain. As the miles add up, the grade gets steeper and the trail gets worse. We were both starting to slow down, so we stopped to rest at Lewis Glacier before heading to the next waypoint. Everything up until this point had been child's play, or as All Trail so lovingly puts it, this final mile is steeper than anything you've come across so far. The last time we attempted the mountain, it was two months earlier in the season, and this section of the climb was completely iced over. Thankfully that wasn't the case this time, but the loose gravel and rocks came with their own set of problems. Ooh.
We're making our way to the summit, but we're moving at a snail's pace. Whew. <sighs> After a grueling climb, the end was finally in sight. And I don't mean that literally, because this mountain has what's called a false summit. Basically, the highest point you can see throughout the entire climb isn't actually the summit. It's just the mountain giving you a glimmer of hope only to take it away. But the hardest part was over. We're about to finally do it. We are. We got a couple hundred more feet of gain and a quarter mile, half a mile, but we're almost there. In a lot of ways, summiting this mountain was just a slow, painful journey up a pile of dirt and rocks. No one cared if we did it, and there isn't a prize for finishing. Standing at the bottom, I wondered if I'd trained enough, if I was mentally tough enough, or if we'd just fail again. But the only way to know for sure was to grip my teeth and find out. If nothing else, life is about setting goals and working toward them. Every challenge you overcome, you become a little bit more resilient, set your sights a little bit higher, and better yourself with every summit. 